Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Amnesia the Dark Descent. Um, I decided to hide in here. There was a monster. I wonder if it came from... Because there was that door that was closed. Yep, still won't budge. Go hide in here. <laughs> Move this out of my way. Look, everyone needs an escape plan. This seems like a good escape plan. Okay, here we go. I can probably... Is that me making that sound? No, that's something else. Go here where there's light. Um, did something scary happen? Because I didn't see it. Scared me. I'm Is he safe. Well, it's for his own good. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. Okay. I completely lost. Here's to hope I made a big circle around. I did make a big circle around, didn't I? Okay, not as lost as I thought then. Good. <laughs> but I need to find my way around. So, well, we need to head to storage. So let's do that. Let's head to storage. Or I try to follow those sounds. Let's try... Sounds coming this way. Wait, that means I came from storage. He escaped. Where is he now? Okay, well, now I'm heading in the right direction if it's doing that. Third of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, 
is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. <laughs> Sally is taking a bit of a hit. Not doing too well. I'm just gonna hold on for a sec. <laughs> Sequester myself in this corner here while the sanity is particularly low. Uh, we still got the hammer and chipper. Small carpenter drill. Oh, I didn't know it actually tells us how to turn it on and off. Fuel for a lamp. Come on, Daniel. If I grab the pot, I'm afraid if I grab the pot, pot's gonna like activate something, he's gonna lose his mind. I know you're not feeling okay. But you gotta, you gotta. Let's try to buck up a bit so I can continue on because this wooziness is going to make me in. No, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Okay, well. Oh. That's what I remembered. Saw this. Ooh, hoo, hoo, treasure. Yeah. Let me grab glass jar hold our stuff that unfortunately did not seem to see yeah his, his sanity is really bad right now can you just kind of gently close this down These are the ones that can't be opened, right? Yeah. <sighs> I don't want to move because I'm afraid that he's going to lose his mind or whatever.
storage. Another padlock in excellent condition. Can I stand up if I have to run? Need to look in all these areas to pick up this oil and stuff. Oh, this is what burst it out through. You were kept in there. Don't talk to me now. I'm busy. The Kraken has been released. Great. Now I'm lost. Don't know which way to go. I don't think I went this way, though. At least I think I didn't go that way. To your sister and entrance. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! Outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. Who's Gabriel? Kind of a sucky place to be right now. was doing better than before. Now we have to wait this out. Which seems... Nope. It's not fading. That was fading for a bit. Anytime now. It's not like you can see anyway. Questioning him. Oh, a door. Oh. I don't like the fact. I don't like it when doors can't open because it means I keep thinking that something's gonna be inside there. Is she dead? Of course, now I just need to find my way back and get that dumb glass jar. To get this glass jar filled with acid. Let's get up. Oh, 
Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well, we know this is not a place we've been. Okay. I hate how loud the door is open. Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What do they do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. I'm not quite sure what this what this is about. search for anything here. Nope. Okay, let's sit by this light and it's candle camper in us, right? 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Can't believe for that one. Okay, we need to make our way back to that dumb oil. The oil, the acid. save because I feel like I'm going to jinx myself but so far I have been not been doing too bad of a job of hiding so to speak so to speak no I'm hiding but <laughs> but I've been able to escape let's wait for things to pass for that it turns out I'm actually going to be out of time I was hoping to at least get to the key back to the kitchen but we have a lot of um, doors to melt. So either way, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. <laughs> See ya!